Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and today I'm going to talk about Candyman, which I freaking love Clive Barker so much. I love his writing. I love his art. I love his movies. I love you, Clive Barker. And this is probably a movie I can watch a million times and literally never get sick of. So this, of course, stars the iconic Tony Todd as the Candyman, who is this terrifying myth, urban legend about a man who unfortunately was commissioned to paint this uh, very prolific man's daughter and ended up falling in love with her. They, you know, hunt him down, cut his arm off, replace it with a hook strip him naked, cover him with honey, release bees upon him, and then burn him in a pyre. So he exacts his revenge if you say his name five times in a mirror. And, uh, we've all heard stories like this, like Bloody Mary, so I thought it was a really interesting way to put it out there, you know. I I love this character. He's He's so creepy, but oddly sexual, and... I guess that says a lot about me, but we find uh, Helen and her partner Bernadette are compiling data for their thesis on urban legends, specifically the Candyman, and just how, you know, the story has evolved or changed or how people are basing actual murders off of this story, trying to piece things together and, you know... Maybe if they have something to blame it on, they won't be as scared, or perhaps they're more scared because they think that this supernatural being is literally killing people. And uh, I think that's really interesting, and I thought that the story was great. I'm going to leave it off and not spoil too much. I'm sure everyone's seen this movie, hopefully. If you haven't, please check it out. It is really fun. And they are going to be remaking this movie, so I definitely suggest you watch this original as soon as you can. And also, like, the second one is amazing, and I love the second one so much because of that weird narrator in the background. But anyways, what did I like about this movie? I love just the character design of Candyman. He looks terrifying. He's, you know, Tony Todd's very big in stature. But it's not his stature that scares you. It's, you know, the way he talks and the way he moves and when he opens his jacket and it's just that, like, rib cage covered in bees and the bees coming out of his mouth. And that, ugh, I can't. I can't do bugs. So that's disgusting. But that's also, like, holy crap, he was really committed to this part because he got stung a lot. Ugh. So just everything together works so well. And at no point is he, you know, even showing that he's recoiling from having a mouthful of live bees. He's just selling that. And it, wow. Um, I liked that the story, you know, a lot of it happened in this very rundown, scary gang ruled place. And it was both the terror of you might get shot and also the terror of this supernatural thing put together and like, which is scarier, honestly. I think it really, you know, that that's an amazing juxtaposition there because are you more scared of, you know, a gang member killing you or possibly this supernatural being killing you in your bathroom after you do the thing you're told not to do? So that's really neat. Um, it's not so much a dislike, but I feel like the guy that cast Helen was just like, really in love with her because there's so many long scenes like she's gorgeous don't get me wrong but just these tight long scenes of her face and her eyes just like softly crying or like transfixed and it's like um anyone else picking up on this is kind of weird right is a little weird but also she's so under his spell that probably explains it um I mean, I don't really have too many dislikes on this movie. I, I really genuinely love this movie. I would give it a four out of five. Not the perfect movie, but like an uh, incredible movie. And I watched this, I think, Amazon Prime streaming, probably. Nope. No, I think it was Netflix. 
I kind of mish mishmash those together because, you know, both streaming. Bad memory. Sorry. But have you seen this movie? I hope you have. Leave me some comments down below with your thoughts. Do you prefer this one or do you prefer Farewell to the Flesh better? Let me know. That, that narrator in Farewell to the Flesh is just like so incredible. I love it. I want to go to New Orleans. But if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Please hit the like button if you like the video. Hit the like button if you never do any of this superstitious crap and say things in the dark because me too. I don't do that. Um, hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. My solo as well as reviews with the groom are available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.